in the past 12 months, I, Jim Brown and Dick Buckus mm-hmm. have passed. And when I, for me, my generation, Jim Brown and Dick Buckus, when I think of football, those really two are the guys I think of. Yep. Uh, I became great friends with uh, Jim Brown and Dick Buckus and I follow each other over Twitter. Uh, great honor for me. But And so I want to ask you, you guys are in the Hall of Fame. Those two guys no longer being there, who, who's the guy when you gather in Canton that is like, oh, man, that's the man. That's a tough that. question, but I know exactly who it is for me. <laughs> Joe Montana, Roger Stallback. Nice. Mel Blunt. Ooh. Mel Blunt. Is, Mel Blunt. He can play now. That cowboy hat on, 6'5". Mel corners. Blunt can play right yeah. now. He rides a horse in the road. That dude. He, he is a good dude, man. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Uh, Most. Mean Joe Green, I love. Yeah. Oh. And I, I remember the commercials. I remember mm-hmm. watching. I hated the Steelers because I love the Cowboys. And when the Steelers would beat them, I, I, I hated everything about them. I told Bradshaw. <laughs> and he used to come to my house. I'm like, I, I hated you. <laughs> but Roger Stallback to me was yeah. my two favorite players growing up. And I, I grew up 50 miles from the Superdome, even though I was in Mississippi, was Archie Manning and Roger Stallback. Archie played on a horrible team, but he he razzled and dazzled with the best of them. Mm-hmm. Roger was just smooth and classy. And he's like that today. I've had a chance to meet most of those guys, and, and, and I, I could – I could really go on and on. I hate to single out. I, I got to know Jim Brown. What a classy man he was. Uh, I got to know Ray Nitschke. He was a, a grumpy old man. Huh. Man, <laughs> you guys don't know how to play, man. <laughs> you, you guys are soft, man. <laughs> uh, Dick Butkus was not like that. He was a, a very nice gentleman. <laughs> Jim Brown, classy. Mel Blunt is man. He is a man's man. Yes, he is. And uh, I, 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 it's just an honor to to be in the mentioned in the same breath with all those guys. I got I got one for me from my, when I, the year I got inducted, two thousand eighteen. We were having the, the players' luncheon. Is that was the, the Nisky luncheon? Yes. So it's just just players in the room. My, my, and uh, my these dudes man. are so. T.O. didn't go that year. He was boycotting the Hall of Fame because he went on his third try and not the first. So there were some players bad-mouthing T.O. and uh, just saying, oh, he shouldn't, he shouldn't be allowed in. And he was having his own induction at his college that day. But there were some not very nice things said about T.O. And Joe Namath stood up and said something. And after he said what he said, man, I, I, for me, it opened my eyes just because like that's Joe Namath. To me, Joe Namath is one of the the greatest like icons of all time. And when when I'm in circles and, and Joe walks in, people are like, "Oh, that's Joe Namath over there." So when he stood up and spoke at that luncheon, that to me was was one of the guys that like you know now yeah. that Dick and and uh, Jim are gone, he's he's that next in line for me. If he wasn't already there already, but he's he was that guy for me. Joe Namath is groovy. He's yeah, just, that's what I was thinking. Cool. Like Man, he's he's you might be cool. telling on yourself, groovy. Ryan. That, that's no, like. No. Well, Joe Namath, he got the best weed in Kent. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> just what he said, man. Just what he said. And I don't know if y'all, what he said was like, man. Yeah, no, Joe. No, I, no I, one said, Joe's got a mystique about no it. No one said man. anything. After he said what he said, no one said anything else about T.O. I'll tell you that much. When he stood up and said what he said, people shut up about talking shit about T.O. after Joe said that. Until so. I got out the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when Joe was in present, we, yeah. we got to shut T.O. up. T.O. wasn't there to defend himself, so he had... Joe in his stead. And he didn't defend him, but he said some things that I was like, ooh, that makes a lot of sense. So guys, It's kind of like our parents when they told you something when you you're a kid. Like, one day you're going to miss school. You're going to miss high school. And you're like, you're yeah, you're right. right. <laughs> At 40, you're like, you know, <laughs> I'm going back to high school. <laughs> 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 Just chilling a little bit. <laughs> so, so, we're going to be right. Joe Namath one day. You know, we're going to look at things a little differently. We're going we're gonna to talk differently. We're, we're going to think differently. Yeah. Even though we think right now, that's bullshit. Yeah. Because remember what your parents told you or some adult or some coach. Yeah. Son, someday you're going to regret it by not working your ass off. I heard that a lot. But <laughs> not that I didn't work. My dad never gave Wasn't me hard enough. Boys. When I did good, he said, you can do better. Mm. When I did better, he said, 
So you certainly can do better than that. No way. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, man. Uh, but My God. but uh, that's what Joe Namath. That's what the that's what the the elders in the Hall of Fame. Are, you know, they give you wise sage advice. Joe Namath, the wise guy. I think it was he's you know, groovy. The way, the the way he said it, though, man. Kissing I'm telling you, kissy, 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 no, that was just one night, man. That was just one yeah. night. That so was all. When. Since since 2011, well, the into when, when when we got when I got the year I went in. Ever ever since that year, being a part of that, being a part of what we do, all the running backs we take a picture, all the guys that come back, and obviously we got some, we've lost some guys. So OJ, yeah, this this will be this will be the first year. Actually, OJ, I think he's coming this year. Coming, I think up. he's coming to this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I reached out to him. I'm like, Juice, we need you. It, it, none of that matters when you're on this team. You 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 can't Ooh. be cut. You can't die off this can't team. Die off this team. So regardless of what happened, he has a he has a home at the Hall of Fame, and they're like, we we want him to come back. But anyways, here's what I was here's what I was saying. We would get together and we would take the picture. And if you asked every one of the running backs that's there, like in most positions, there's a question: who's the best? Everybody would say Jim Brown. Every running back would give the honor to Jim Brown. Like, who's second, third? That could be mentioned. Whether it's Emmett or Barry, um, it, it, n- none of that mattered. All the guys, it, it was all, it was consistently, it's Jim, and it, it was, it was, it was like that was the thing for us. Like ev- everybody, kind of, that honor was always his. And everybody, it, it, the new guys coming in, Jim was the first person that they wanted to see, talk to. And uh, the the dude had always had the best advice, yeah. the best Salt stories, yeah. Oh, yeah, always, yeah. always. Yeah. I, I was just amazed Man, that wasn't Ray Nitschke. Yeah, I was always <laughs> amazed at just just the advice and the things that 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 he would share with you about the game back then and his thoughts of the game now. And what I loved, he never held back. Nope. He always spoke his mind. <laughs> Did not care. If you were offended or didn't like it, if you asked him a question, he gave you the That's answer. That's how they was too. And that was it. Man. Who's next? Who's got next? That's We're going to see. We'll see. We will, an, we will see. That was the first picture. Whenever I got to the Hall of Fame, I went straight to Jim Brown, grabbed him, took my selfie because that's the goal. That's where it all starts for me. And then I over to Bob Lilly and uh, me and Joe Green and then Randy White because with me there, that's four of the five first ballot defensive tackles ever to play the game, and only one missing is Merlin. So, you know, you just kind of migrate with your guys, you know, because I get I get to stand beside Mister Cowboy. What about me, Cowboy? Is that not the nicest oh, man to have the had to have the to have the most intimidating name? Oh, oh my like God! Like me, and Joe Green, and you meet him, and it's like. He's, so the nicest like, dude he's the ever. nicest guy ever. you'll ever meet. What? I call him pops. Like I, yeah. I, I call him pops. I mean, he's like he's like a dad to me. Like, uh, he, is, he is. A, he is. He's so just, friendly and so oh, yeah. polite. And yeah. so I, I, called, I too. called him the, the, yeah. the meanest, the, the softest T Rex ever because he got the shortest arms. <laughs> I grab him and hold my phone out. He cannot grab my phone. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll show you. The, I'll show you the video. Every year I got him. I grabbed it. I got the phone. <laughs> he reaching at it. He cannot <laughs> touch. I said, "Look at the baby T Rex, y'all." <laughs> That's my guy. Every year I get him. I grab yeah. him, hold him, and hold the phone out. He be reaching at it. Hey, I'm gonna have to Fun, go watch funny, some funny, because... funny story. We're, we're playing the Cardinals. <laughs> we're the Rams. We're playing the Cardinals. Ooh. I'm wearing the ass out, and I'm talking shit across the sideline, and I'm bumping my gums. Ah, oh, y'all, sorry. I'm da, 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 da. And, and I and I pass him, and he's looking at me, and I I came back. Not you, Mister Green. <laughs> Not you. I'm not talking to you. Yes, Lord. Not you. Yes, Lord. I can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. You got to pay off it. I had to apologize to him. I had to go back to Everybody else around you. When I when I got in the Hall of Fame and we actually met, I I reminded him. I was like, you remember? They said, I remember. Yeah, you remember. Just like yesterday. Oh, man. That's good. That's good.